most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. <laughs> and Brad Heine, physical therapist. Together we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. I think your mic's working, Bob. Enthusiasm! <laughs> Come on, Brad. Okay, today we're going to go over the best TMJ treatment you can do yourself. Now, there's a lot of treatments that can be done, but this is the best one you can do yourself. TMJ. TMJ temporal mandibular, or, well, actually you could call it TMJ, the mouth joint. <laughs> no, temporal mandibular joint. Right. Yeah, and... It's actually temporal mandibular disorders. Right. The, the, the joint is, alas, poor York. I knew him, Horatio. Oh, That's a little culture here, Let's Brad. Let's get on with it, All right, Bob. Brad, the joint is right here. So, okay. Right there. Yeah, you don't have your pointer today. Or do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, right there. point right where it is. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to actually pull right this, pull oh, this off here focus so you can see in. the joint there. Got it, Lonnie? Dislocated and together. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now, when you're having TMJ problems, it's either that joint that's giving you trouble or the muscles around the joint. The, the ones that make it function? Yeah, the ones that close the jaw. Mm -hmm. The one is the masseter, which is right here, and the other one is the temporalis. And this is actually a good picture. Yeah. You want to hold that this together, Brad? Nice. So, masseter and temporalis. And yeah. you might even want to look at the fibers of that, how the fibers are running. Because when you, we're going to be showing you how to do your own massage to these, and you want to go across the fibers at one point. We're going to show you how to make circular massage uh, across the fibers. Looks like one of those fans, you know? Yeah, it does mm -hmm. look like yeah. a little Japanese fan there. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's go ahead and start, Brad. Very good. You're going to go ahead and do the massage? Yeah. So I'll this is, you're going to have pain here, maybe problems opening and closing your jaws with yep, the symptoms. Yeah, you can have tension. A lot of times people are grinding their teeth at night. It's sure. called bruxism. You, know, okay. you, you wake up, you have little bits of teeth in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, and you may, a lot of times people get ear, ear aches and they think that it's ear infection even. Um, so, and it's from the joint. Popping joint, you know, clicking, making right. noises, uh, headaches. Sure. You know, so, mm -hmm. all right. The first one we're going to start off with is, is almost more of a myofascial technique, Brad. So you're going to put your hands and, and your fingers should have enough oil on it themselves sure. that you don't mm -hmm. really need to use any oil. You're going you're gonna to start on the bottom of the masseter here. You're going to push in, and then while you're pushing in, you're just going to let it roll up towards the top. So it should be so right, start, on the, right, yeah, right on the muscle. Right on the mandible here, on the jaw, and going right up. Yeah, it feels good. If you're eating chicken, you'll have plenty of grease on your fingers to do this. <laughs> All right, and then now we're going to go up into the temporalis, Brad. Yep. Same thing, you're just going to push in and push up. Feels good. Yep. This is a good one for everybody, even if you're having headaches. This could, yeah, it could be good for headaches, get those, that pain here for headaches. Yeah, this is one of those treatments that you Once really you can't go wrong with. It. Yep. If it doesn't help your, your pain here. Right, there's nothing there, harmful here. Right, there's it's no, nothing, nothing good, about, yep. good about this. All right, the next one, Brad, just going to go ahead and using the three fingertips, mm -hmm. you're going to go right straight down like this. And again, don't get into your cheek where you're yeah, just we're, we're back here. Cheek muscle. We remember, get... it's back, yeah, uh, uh, the zygomatic arch, wasn't that? What yeah, called? there you remember go. Back from your anatomy. Mm -hmm. So, okay, and the same with this one. You're going to just push up, Brad, then. Okay. It, you can feel, you know, once you get used to the feeling underneath the skin where you're on the muscle. You know, you should be able to build, right. do this. All right, the next one you're going to do, oh. Brad, is you're actually going to do circles now. Now, you can do it with the three fingertips, or you can do it with your knuckles. Okay. And you're going to go like this, across the muscle like this, okay. making the circles, going across the muscle. Remember, we're trying to go across those fibers. You know, the fibers, we're going across them, and across the, we're going to go up here and hit those up no. here, across the fibers. You seen any of this, Lonnie? <laughs> I like this. Actually, this is a really relaxing. Very thing soothing. To do. Yeah. All right, the last set that you're going to do, Brad, is you're actually going to hold, hold open your jaw, uh -huh. and then you're going to do the same massages. You can do the circle. I can't understand you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, nobody ever can. <laughs> so you actually hold it open. Is the jaw supposed to be loose then? Yeah. So you're trying to keep the muscles relaxed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's that's different. Definitely different. Yeah. And then you're going to also work it up in the temporalis. Okay. I think you that's can, a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, so th seriously, this can actually help. You can do 30 to 60 seconds each right. side. Mm -hmm. um, we can do them together, obviously. Sure. 30 to, seconds, uh, 30 to 60 seconds on each muscle. 
And uh, I, you could even do this a couple times a day, Brad. There's just sure. really no, nothing negative about doing it. Right. I think and if you get positive results, you right. do it as needed. Now, we're also going to do another uh, video on the top three exercises you should do. Now, these exercises are not going to give you immediate relief by mm -hmm. any means. They're for the long haul. They're trying to prevent these muscles from giving you trouble in the future. Sure. There's a whole bunch of things about TMJ, about posture, that come into play, and those exercises are going to help you so uh, when I get that one done, I'm going to link it to the, this one. Okay, so good idea. So you'll see it at the end. So, All right. Thanks for watching. Excellent.